enjoyed this book. I give it four stars. When I first got introduced to the author, Jane Ignaro, I, um, I really liked her book. She had, the first book was The Ties That Tether. I enjoyed it, but The Swedish Remedy, I really enjoyed even more. It all takes place with Hannah. Hannah, she's at a party with her bestie, Flo, and she meets Lawrence. Lawrence is an affluent, nice-looking guy, but they never really got a chance to exchange numbers, continue their, their conversation, but in all, he made a lasting impression on her. So the night comes to an end. Um, she goes home with her bestie. She gets a call from her mother, and her mother wanted to talk to her, and she ended up finding out that her father had passed. Hannah is actually, um, she's biracial. Her father is Nigerian, and her mother is Caucasian. So, she's never met her father. He's, she's, as far as she can remember, she only remembers one time even seeing him. And it was a faint memory. She didn't really have good recollection of that. So, to find out that her father had passed, she was like, okay, he passed. All right. So, her mother said that your father wants you to attend his funeral. <laughs> Hannah's like, wait a minute. He wants me to attend his funeral. I don't even remember who he is. I don't know who this man is. She never really made a relationship or had a bond with him. So, her mother tells her that she needs to go in order to find some closure for herself. She needs to go for herself. She always wanted to know about her, her, her family in Nigeria. She wanted to know about their culture.